Spanish 1, Contemporary Life, Vocab 56 through 60. I'm going to say each of these five words in English, then Spanish, and clap. And I'd like you guys to repeat with me. Okay? 56. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. 57. Plantain, platano. Plantain, platano. 58. Cooked chicken, pollo. Cooked chicken, pollo. 59. Watermelon, sandia. Watermelon, sandia. And finally, 60. The sandwich, el sandwich. The sandwich, el sandwich. Now, Mr. Holt, I thought you said the only four letters in Spanish that are doubled are C-E-L-R. Pizza is not a Spanish word. Pizza is actually an Italian word, okay? Um, so occasionally you'll see foreign words. Uh, and I also said that the letters K and W do not exist. Well, if you're reading a Mexican newspaper and they say the President of the United States came from Washington, there is a letter W in the Spanish alphabet, but you won't see W or K in any real Spanish words. It's just used for foreign words. And the only time you ever see a double Z in Spanish is if they're writing a foreign word. Now, I'll be honest, half the time in Mexico I see pizza spelled P-I-Z-Z-A, and half the time I see it spelled P-I-Z-A. Spanish people don't like writing double Z's, so frequently they just spell it P-I-Z-A. And again, Z is pronounced as an S, so if they're giving it the Italian pronunciation, they'll say Pisa, and if they're giving it the Spanish pronunciation, they'll say Pisa. Okay? Now, if you don't know what a plantain is, it's like a giant green banana. It's like two or three feet long. It's like a meter long, and it's used for frying. You don't see it a lot in Mexican food, but you see it in Central American, and you see it in Caribbean food. Um, again, it's not real common, but um, plantain is platano. Just think giant banana. Now, remember we talked about when fish is swimming in a lake or an ocean or a river, it's called pes, and when we cook it, it's called pescado? Well, chicken, when it's running around, is called gallina, and when it's cooked, it's called pollo. We do this in English. A chicken that's running around is called chicken, but when we cook it in a fancy restaurant, they call it poultry. So think of chicken that's been cooked as poultry, pollo. And again, the double L is pronounced as a Y, which is why when you ask someone their name, you say, como te llamas? Even though llamas is spelled L, L, a double L is pronounced Y, so it's not polo, it's pollo. Now, uh, water is sandia. I went to uh, a language school in California for a while and uh, went down to the uh, beach for a party and I brought a watermelon because a bunch of us, it was a potluck, a barbecue, a cookout on the beach. And uh, I cut the watermelon open um, and then this big gust wind came and sand got in the watermelon. I'm like, oh no, I got sand in a watermelon. Oh no, I got sand in a watermelon. True story, by the way. Watermelon is sandia. Okay, so sandia's watermelon. Okay, uh, and last one, sandwich. Um, it's el sandwich. Okay, uh, notice the accent mark. In Spanish, we normally stress the next to last vowel, so that, um, that accent says, hey, stress me. An accent mark is a big arrow saying, stress me. Let's see if you've learned a few new words. This is a very easy list, because remember, green means it's the same letters in Spanish and English, so this is a pretty easy list. All right, take just a few secs seconds, look at the English and either say the Spanish out loud or write the Spanish down in a sheet of paper to quiz yourself. Post-test. This has been Spanish 1, Contemporary Life, 56 through 60.